They fly farther and faster than anyone else in the business, utilizing the most powerful circus cannons ever built. It's a machine. There's enough power in there to, uh, I tell people to make peanut butter out of you, literally. Dave Smith Sr., age 52, from Halfway, Missouri. Lock up your body so that when that thing hits you, you gotta be straight and tough enough so that when that goes, it doesn't bend you sideways or drop your head down. It drops your head down, you come out turning. Dave Smith Jr., age 22, resides in Halfway, Missouri. Just tell me when you're ready. Today, the Smiths will almost double that distance as they attempt to break Dave Sr.'s previous record of 180 feet. Each net is marked with two rows of flags. Crossing the first row guarantees the men a new Guinness record. Now, if we go over those first layer of flags, we ought to be fine. The second layer of flags going away from the cannon is... Uh, it's kind of to help people judge how far past we were. In another life, Dave Smith was an Oregon school teacher. That's before he ran away to join the circus. I think he's an adrenaline junkie, don't you mean? It's, there's nothing like it. There isn't. I've, I've done a lot of wild things, and there's nothing like being in the cannon at this distance. There's nothing like it. Father and son have been toughening themselves with a series of practice shots here at Kenningwood Amusement Park outside of Pittsburgh. After each successful shot, the cannons are backed up a few inches. You can get in the gym and get pumped, and it'll help you for things like in the net and all that. Hold your body. Muscle mass is good. But there's nothing that'll get you ready for that initial kick. Watch Dave Jr. on his final test shot. There he goes, more than 70 feet at the peak of his flight and hard into the net. Dave successfully flies 160 feet, but that's still 20 feet short of the Guinness record. Watch again in slow motion. Dave's body is blasted from 0 to 55 miles an hour in less than a second. He then has 1.5 seconds to locate his net before turning over onto his back. Once he begins his descent, he is flying blind facing away from his target. A miscalculation of just a few feet could mean death. Tragedy is just narrowly averted on Dave Sr.'s final test shot. He is ricocheted out of the net right towards the surrounding cement pavement. And so I lit in it and bounced clear out past the back of the net and lit in the, in the lake, just a few feet away from a cement pillar, really. So we were quite lucky. After nearly killing himself on his last trial run, Dave Sr. and Dave Jr. search for a solution for the deadly bounce in the nets. The best that they can come up with, soak the nets with fire hoses to shrink them. Tighter nets will be less likely to propel the men into the water or toward the crowd. The downside, if the nets are too tight, it would be like landing on a brick wall. The Smiths will never know how tight the nets are until they hit them. Less than an hour before firing, the cannons receive a final check. We can't show you how the 24-foot long cannons work. That's a circus secret. We've mounted a special miniature camera on Dave Sr.'s helmet. This will allow us to fly right along with Dave as he attempts to break his own Guinness record. Ironically, Dave Smith Sr. says the last thing he can allow himself to think about at this moment of truth is his son, who will be risking death right beside him. I'm pretty good at divorcing uh, concern for my children out of my mind. If I allow myself to think about it, it's crazy, you know, to watch your son get shot out of a cannon. If you've ever wondered what the human cannonball experiences the last moments before his body is blasted, this is it. A never before glimpsed at view of ground zero. Very dark, very alone. The countdown begins. The fuse is lit. This is for a new Guinness record. There they go. They begin their flip and both hit the net. They also hit the water. It looks like both men are going to be just fine. The slow motion replay reveals that Dave Jr. actually leaves his cannon barrel first, rolls over on his back, and touches down a split second before his father. You know, I just came out and there's just so much more height than I've ever had. Normally I start coming down and I was still going up. And just a lot longer ride. I couldn't be happier. Dad! Hey, Dad! 
I'm very proud of this young fellow here. I'm very proud of this old guy. <laughs> Officials carefully measure to see if either of the Smiths hold a new Guinness record. Here's the astounding flight as Dave Sr. experienced it. Notice his shadow far, far below in the lower left of your screen. And here's that landing, incredible and violent. First for Dave the Bullet. Official number 181 feet and one inch. For a brief instant in time, you have the record. Woo! And then Dad came along. Cannonball Smith, we're talking about friends. Official numbers, here they are. 185 feet, 10 inches. Woo! It's official. Dave Smith Sr. still holds his title. He's the farthest flying human cannonball in Guinness history. Just another one of those touching father-son moments. We'll be right back.